Hi, this is Dave here. How's everyone doing today? I'm going to show you a cool trick in Logic on how to use the Evoc 20 Track Oscillator, which is probably one of the most underused plugins uh, in Logic, to get some really cool kind of gated synth sounds using any synthesizer that you want. Okay, there are two real kinds of uh, the Evoc 20. If you go down to the instrument section here, we have the Evoc 20 Polysynth, which is in, on its own a synthesizer and a vocoder. And we get some really amazing sounds out of it. So it's terrific. I mean, I'm not going to go too much into what vocoding actually is. There's plenty of great resources on the web to be able to uh, see what they are. And here's some examples. And of course, you can listen to any Daft Punk or like a Hide and Seek by Image and Heap. It's a beautiful example of what a vocoder can do on the voice. Uh, we're not going to use the voice today, though. I want to show you some other ways to use the vocoder in a pretty cool way. So we're not going to use the Evoc 20 Polysynth, okay? What I want is, I actually want to do a string patch here. I just want to grab whatever factory thing we have. Okay. Beautiful. Works. And I have this Trip Hop Devotion beat just right out of the library. Works. Okay, great. Now, I have two channels set up here. This is just my mic, so ignore that. I have Trip Hop Devotion Beat, okay, which is just playing back. I have our Arco strings set up here. And on this, we have the Evoc 20 Track Oscillator, which is in the Insert section right here. You can go down the Filters, <coughs> Evoc 20 Track Oscillator, and there we go. Okay. I'm going to turn this back on using the Option key. Hold down the Option key and click if you don't know that trick. And we're going to pull that back up here. All right. So, in essence, what you have is you need two signals for um, for vocoding. You need a modulator signal and a carrier signal. The carrier signal is the sound that you want to hear, the synth sound that you want to hear, or the sampler, or strings, or whatever else. And the modulator signal is what's going to be fed in to filter the bands that you're going to be hearing out of that, okay? So now, in this case, our drums are going to be our modulator. Now, how do we get that set up? Well, there are two steps. The first we need to tell the evoc where the analysis is coming in from, okay? And it's not the track because that's going to refer to this synthesizer here. It's the side chain. And the side chain is going to be set to audio 1. There's our beat right there. Okay? <clears throat> this area over here, the signal is just adjusting whether you're hearing the blended signal, the synthesizer, which is in our case the sampler, or the analog signal, which will be the drum part, okay? We're going to leave it on vocoded, and this is just a master level control, easy enough. I'm not going to go through every one of these um, knobs and sliders today uh, for this. Okay, let me just give you a quick example playing it back of what this is going to sound like. Now, if I, by the way, after turning on the Evoc 20, if I go to play my synth, I get nothing. So now you see that our synthesizer, or the sampler in this case, actually has some groove to it and is uh, kind of playing along with the drums. Now what's really happening is that the frequencies that those that, that drum loop is triggering, okay, so lows on the kick drum and highs with the cymbals and snare, you know, mids and highs, that is, the part of the spectrum on my Arco strings patch is actually being triggered to open. So that's why we're getting kind of like the lower frequency content is being triggered, boom, Bop, 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 that kind of thing, what's happening with this drum loop right here, okay? If we use an all bass drum loop, an all, you know, very, very low frequency drum loop, we would really only be triggering the lower frequencies of that particular carrier signal, like I said, in our case, the string sampler, okay? So let's really quickly go through some of the more important knobs and sliders on the Evoc 20, okay? I'm just going to play through them. I want to adjust them and you can see as they go. Okay, one of the really important ones I'm going to show you here is the bands. This kind of makes it a little bit more coarse or fine in terms of detail. Okay, we're going to put it down to six. Crank it up for a little bit more detail. So 
each of the uh, bands, each of the sections is actually a little bit more specific and you get a little more control over them. Shifting all the lower. This is an interesting one over here, the attack and release. This is just kind of like what uh, an envelope on any synthesizer would do. I'm going to give us a real percussive sound right now by pulling the attack way down and the release way down. Okay, now I'm going to give us a little bit more of a gated kind of synth sound by pulling the release up. The freeze button is interesting. It will actually freeze whatever open frequencies you have at the time. Okay. We're not going to deal with the synthesis at all right now, okay? That's actually just going to use to, uh, you're going to use that to actually control it and then get sound out of it if you were using the synth from here and not one of our external synths, okay? I'm just going to leave that on track for now. Come back to that later, another day. All right, now, as I said, you can use any synthesizer that you want or any other carrier source that you want. Of course, some more sustained stuff makes sense to use. I'm pulling massive. Last thing here. We're gonna grab a pad. Hmm. Now I'm playing it back. You can see the master's moving, but I get nothing. Now when I play back. Alright, for one last thing, maybe the trip hop beat just doesn't fit. You can actually mute the track entirely and still get your data, your gated synth. Hit a couple sour notes there, but you get the idea. So hopefully you can use this in some of your tracks to kind of get some, you know, dancing and some gated synth sounds and make a little bit more mileage out of your Evoc 20. All right. Have a good one, guys.